Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and in this video I'm going to show you how to uninstall an Excel add-in. So these instructions will work for the Windows versions of Excel for Excel 2007 and beyond. So basically if you have any add-ins installed, first of all you can open the add-ins menu and I'll show you how to do that in just a second, but you might have add-ins installed here and if you just uncheck this box right here next to the add-in that's currently installed, that's just going to deactivate or disable that add-in. So if I uncheck that box and then click OK, that's going to close the add-in that's open in the background and it will not open it again when you open Excel. So that's one way to deactivate or disable an add-in. But what if you want to delete this item completely from the add-ins list here? How do you do that? Well, let me show you. So the first thing I'm going to do is disable that add-in. I'm going to uncheck the box and hit OK. And now we're going to need to either delete that file completely, that add-in file, or we can can rename that add-in file on the computer. But we have to figure out where that add-in file was saved. Where did we originally save it? And the easy way to do that is if you go up here to the uh, file menu, and then you go to options here on the left side, and then from the options, the Excel options menu, we're gonna choose add-ins on the left side right here. This window might take a second to load up, but basically it'll show you a list of all the active add-ins and the inactive add-ins you have and the location that they're stored in. So we want to get rid of this Pivot Pal add-in right here. So I'm going to select that one, and you can see it kind of shows the location or the path over here on the right, but if you look down here at the bottom, you'll see the full location path of this particular add-in. So this is where we want to look to either delete this file or just rename it. So I, I, can, I have that folder open. I'm just going to open it right here. Here's the add-in file that I'm looking for. And in this case, I don't want to delete it because I love my Pivot Pal add-in. So I'm just going to rename it, or I'm just going to add a space here to the end of the file name, and that'll actually rename it and be just enough to uh, confuse Excel. So I can move that down now. And now I'm going to open the add-ins uh, menu. So from right here uh, in this particular menu, I can just choose Excel add-ins from the drop-down, hit the go button right here, and that will bring up the add-ins menu. And now basically when I select this Pivot Pal item, you can see Pivot Pal is still there, but when I select it, I'm going to go ahead and click it. Uh, Microsoft is going to warn me or Excel, I'm going to get this warning saying it cannot find the add-in, and that's because we renamed it. Do you want to delete it from the list? And I'll just say yes right here. And now it will be deleted and gone from my list. So I won't have that add-in in the list anymore. So if your list is getting cluttered with a bunch of old add-ins that you don't need anymore, that's a way to get rid of them. If you want instructions on how to install an add-in, I have a whole nother video that will walk you through that as well. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below the video and I'll be happy to help answer them. If you'd like to learn more about macros and VBA, then I have a free three-part video training series that will really help you out. In the first video, we write our first macro, and I also explain the Excel object model. If you've ever wondered what the dots between the words mean and what order the code runs in, then this video is for you. In the second video, we automate a common Excel task to create a summary report of all the sheets in the workbook. And finally, in the third video, we build a user form to export the sheets out of the workbook. You can learn more and sign up for the free training at excelcampus.com macros. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.